If you're an Amazon seller that wants some free, easy to understand insights into how your PPC ads are working for you, then stay tuned in on this video because I'm gonna be showing you this completely free PPC tool made by Perpetua. Now, even though Perpetua did sponsor this video, I do personally recommend this tool to all Amazon sellers that want clear and easy to understand metrics regarding how their Amazon ads are performing. With the Perpetua Benchmarker tool, you can review your data at a high level like overall account summary or at a granular level like each ASIN. What I really love about this tool is how Perpetua gives you benchmark insights into how your results compare to your competitors within your sub product category. So you will know if your ACOS is lower or higher than your sub product category benchmark. So now let's go ahead and get started with this Perpetua Benchmarker Tour. Before we get started, real quick, if you don't know me, my name is Ian Smith and I run an Amazon marketing agency called Evolve Media Agency. At EMA, we completely revamp Amazon listings by doing top tier product photo and video shoots at very affordable prices. After we take a bunch of white background photos and lifestyle photos, then we edit those up into high converting sales driving infographics by inserting sales copy that drives Amazon shoppers to make a purchase. The videos we create substantially boost product page conversion rates and can be used in multiple places on product detail pages, Amazon storefronts, PPC ads, TikTok ads, and landing pages off Amazon. We also manage Google search ads, Amazon PPC ads, TikTok ads, build Amazon storefronts, write blogs, and do email marketing. So if you want free access to our Amazon listing checklist or want to book a free consulting call with me, then go to emaamz.com. So now let's carry on with the video. So this video is part one of a series of videos that I'm going to be making showing off the features of this Perpetua tool. In this video, I'll be keeping it somewhat high level, showing you the summary section and the product analysis section. So after you sign up, you'll want to link up your Amazon account, then wait a few hours for the data to populate. Then once it's populated, you'll be able to see the last 30 days of your Amazon account's PPC performance. Now, after a month passes from your original sign up date, then Perpetua will automatically import the last 30 days of data at that time and you'll be able to compare month over month changes. To get free access to this tool, go to evolvelinks.com slash perpetua. So now let me share my screen to show you the sign up page and the Perpetua Benchmarker dashboard. All right, so now you should be able to see my screen. And as you can see, we are on the landing page, you know, the opt-in page for this Perpetua Benchmarker tool. You know, pretty good stuff in here. You can kind of scroll through this and see how awesome it is. Basically, when you go to evolvelinks.com, com slash perpetua you're going to land on this page right here and to actually opt in you're just going to click on analyze your products or get started so i'm going to click on analyze your products so then you're going to land on this page where you're going to put in your personal information link up your amazon account then wait a few hours so that your data can populate in the dashboard so now let me show you the actual benchmarker dashboard all right so this is the dashboard right here now this is just a demo report demo dashboard right here and as you can see here is where you can see the actual month date and things for the actual data. So if we click on this little arrow, we can pull in December data and we can look at that data. If we wanna look at month over month, then we wanna check this little slider box right here. And then that's gonna give us some little arrows to see you know, how things are going up and down, things like that. If you hover over this little question mark, you can see your score and based on your performance, you know, giving you a little explanation and insights into what your score is and the benchmarks and things like that. Now, obviously you're gonna need to wait a month after the date that you sign up so that you can actually see this month over month data. And I highly recommend that you do wait a month because that's some really good data. And, and as months go on and on, you'll be able to see even more data of how your results and performance is progressing. But if we jump into this section right here, the summary section, I'll give you a quick overview of what all information is being shown here. So this is impressions. Now this is obviously how many people actually saw your ads and then it shows you click through rate right here so what is your average click through rate now keep in mind this is overall account level data this is showing you on all your ads all your campaigns all your ASINs everything like that so this is overall your Amazon ads account information so it shows you the click through rate shows you how many total clicks you got you know right now we're looking at month over month so it looks like this is down six percent from the last month and then we can see conversion rate right here overall your ads are 
performing at an 8.9% conversion rate, which is up 4% from last month. Orders are 8,046, which is actually down 2.4% from the last month. Now here you can see your cost per click, which is $1.10. Now again, that's across all campaigns, everything which is actually up 18.5% from the last month. And then that is your total ad spend right there, $100,000, which is up 11% from the last month. Right here you can see your ACoS, which is 26.7%, which is up 19%. Now this ACoS number, if you don't know, you want it to be low, five to 10% is like super ideal. That would be really great if you could have an ACoS of five to 10%. Right here you can see your average order value. So 46 down 4% from the last month, so that's your average order value. So if you took your ad spend and divided it by your total ad sales, you know, sales attributed to your actual ads, that would give you your ACoS number, which is 26% of your total sales coming from your actual ads. So again, this is a very high level view on your overall Amazon ad account. So keep that in mind. And also until you have at least two months of data imported into this Perpetua benchmarker tool, you're not going to be able to see these little arrows and showing month over month. So it'll look something like that right there. Now this is a cool little box at the top of this summary section. It kind of just talks to you about your ad sales and your A cost and your conversion rate and advertising costs of sale, things like that. So that's going to be a good little bit of insights to see into your overall Amazon account. All right, so now I'm going to click on the product analysis section right there. It's going to scroll me down. There's a cool little video right here kind of explaining what data you can extract from this. But let's scroll down because this is going to give us information on an ASIN by ASIN level. So starting with this first ASIN and office chair. Now here's where you can see the actual sub product category that it is showing you in comparison with your other competitors within that sub product category. So as you can see, home and kitchen, then furniture, then home office furniture. So that's something really cool that they actually show you exactly what is the sub product category that they're using to then compare your ASIN to your competitors ASINs. All right, so here's where it shows you your ACoS for this actual ASIN. And if you hover over that number right there, it'll say your ACoS is above the product category benchmark of 20.09%. So kind of gives you a nice little slider gradient thing, kind of showing you that you're just outside, you're in the red zone. You know, benchmark is the orange zone. If you're green, then you're doing better than the competitors. So this column right here is your conversion rate, which is green, which means that this listing is converting better than the competitors in the same sub product category. So if we hover over that, it's showing 8% conversion rate. And it's saying here, your conversion rate is above the product category benchmark of 6.2%. This column is the click through rate. And if we hover over that, it says your click through rate is below the product category benchmark of 0.48%. So that would be kind of difficult to change that click through rate. It could be your targeting. It could be your actual main product image. Could even be the cost that you're paying and bidding on each keyword that you're targeting and how you're actually going about things. So it's gonna be kind of difficult to then figure out how to make changes, but at least this is telling you what your click through rate is, what your conversion rate is. And the conversion rate, in my opinion, is one of the highest value things to know because conversion rate is what you can actually change by changing up your main product images, your EBC or A plus content, maybe some of the copy on your listings, maybe putting more and different videos on your actual listing. So me and my team would love to help you out with boosting up your conversion rate. You know, that is a big thing that you really need to focus on. And it is so cool that the Perpetua Benchmarker tool makes it so easy for you to see on a global level across all your ASINs and then on a more granular level showing you each individual ASINs conversion rate. All right, so moving on, we got our cost per click column right here. Now it is showing a dollar and two cents. If we hover over it, it says your product category benchmark is 0.27, basically a quarter. And this listing is paying a dollar and two cents. So definitely uh, four times more than the actual product category benchmark, which is kind of like the average. And then these next three columns are pretty self-explanatory, but it shows you here your ad spend, you know, how much you actually spent total across all your campaigns for this one ASIN. You got ad sales, how much sales came in from ads for this one ASIN right there, 2,700. And then how many orders actually came in for this one ASIN from your ads. Now this data right here is from the last 30 days. So you need to keep that in mind. It's not 
Total, it's the time window we're looking at here is the last 30 days. Now, if you have a bunch of ASINs, then you definitely want to use this little filter option right here so that you can kind of mess around with these on the ad spend, the ad sales, and how many orders. That way you can kind of make it easy for you to see the different ASINs in here. Then you can also tab through the different pages by clicking these little arrows and seeing all the different ASINs that you have that you're running ads for. Now that is pretty much all I wanted to cover in this video. The summary section right here and the product analysis section right here. As you can see, this tool is really cool. I believe that if you're hiring a PPC company to run your ads for you across all your different ASINs, you definitely want to have this free tool because it's going to make the reports and looking into how your PPC is performing for you a lot easier. You know, maybe that company that you're hiring for your PPC management is giving you some really good reports, but honestly, this is a very easy, user-friendly way to look at your individual ASINs performance as well as your global, your overall Amazon account performance. So another quick little thing that I wanna mention is this sidebar. So a lot of really helpful resources that Perpetua offers in this benchmarker tool. If I click on right here, it opens a slider showing a lot of videos tutorials featured, you know, all just different YouTube videos talking about Amazon PPC, this tool, things like that. If we click on guides, there are a good amount of free downloads that you can download to get, you know, access and learn more about the benchmarker tool. Then you got FAQs right here. You got a glossary section defining what some of these words and CTR and CPC, what some of those things mean. So very helpful stuff right there. Product updates, kind of like a little bit of a bloggy section right here so you can learn more about um, actual what happened here. Perpetua and Celix joined forces to accelerate growth. So they merged and I believe they're just gonna be moving forward with the name Perpetua. So I believe the Celix brand is gonna at some point disappear, uh, but it talks about it in this blog article right there. Then you have partner agencies, virtual assistants, product optimization. So anyway, I highly recommend you get this tool. It's completely free, so why not? Again, go to evolvelinks.com slash Perpetua to land on this landing page right here, sign up, link your account, and then start reviewing your data and hopefully making some good decisions on how to change up your listings and things like that. So hopefully you got value from this video. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.